plenty of sustainable energy and improved fertilizer turn slurry from our suppliers into a valuable resource. Slurry from agriculture can be used in the production of biogas. The slurry and manure is retrieved following a fixed schedule. A text message advises the supplier such that he may lead the slurry to a pre-tank or start the agitator. Simultaneously, the degassed fertilizer is returned to the supplier's own tanks or the neighbor's if he needs it more. The degassed fertilizer hardly smells at all, which is a very positive characteristic for all. At the biogas facility, the slurry is weighed prior to unloading in closed buildings. A sample of every delivery is made, and in the laboratory, dry matter and organic dry matter is measured. When the slurry is unloaded, the truck is loaded with degas slurry, which is then returned to the supplier. The truck is cleaned to avoid exchange of microbiology between the farms. The supplier's slurry is more valuable after processing in the biogas facility. The ammonium content is measured in the degas slurry prior to delivery to the supplier. Many plant breeders also use degas slurry, which gives a better yield through higher ammonium content, improved infiltration ability, and highly reduced washout compared to untreated slurry. It eases the supplier's workload considerably, but the biogas facility is also capable of handling deep litter. On top of this, the supplier also receives a much more homogeneous and higher quality fertilizer back. Membership of the Cooperative of Suppliers to the Biogas Facility has several advantages to the suppliers. They convert manure and waste streams into sustainable energy, and the degassed mix of biomass is a considerably better fertilizer. That is sound economics. Become supplier to one of our existing or coming biogas facilities. Learn more at natureenergy.dk or contact us by phone 6315 6415.